Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Clash Rock. Today, we're doing some Town Hall 12 War Attacks. The first attack I've got planned for today is a Queen Charge Lalo. So, very difficult attack here in general. But you know what? I'm up for the challenge today. I'm feeling it. I think I can go in here and crush this base with a Queen Charge. We're going to do another Queen Charge for my second attack here. As you can see, we've got a hybrid attack cooking up here. And I've got a plan for the other base right below this. And we're going to see if we can get the six pack or at least one triple today. You never know. We're doing it live, so we go either way. Who's to, who's to say? Who's to say? All right, so let's uh, throw a couple extra hogs in the queue there, and let's go and check out the base. So, what do I see on this base? Well, with a Queen Charge Lalo, like, there's so many different ways that you can enter it. There's no single Inferno, so I don't really have anywhere that my Queen can't go into. We have a single... Must be, I got ground expo right here. That's going to be a high damage area in the core, but the expos are kind of spread out. So as long as the expos aren't kind of like piled up, I don't think I'll ever be overwhelmed on the damage there so much that I can't handle it. So what I want to do is charge right through the town hall here. And I don't know which way the queen's going to go after they take the town hall. I'm going to wall break into this corner. I'm going to use the king on the outside to clear all this trash. I'm going to use a baby dragon and a couple of balloons to go snipe out this archer tower and clear the trash here. That'll drive my queen through the wall break. Then we have a jump spell. And I will engage the enemy king here at some point. I'll fight the CC. And I don't know which way my queen is going to go. And I don't really know how much time it's going to take her to get there either. So it might be really slow. Hopefully we don't end up with a time fail on this. But... If I uh, wait to see where the queen's going to go, then I can use a jump either over here or if she goes this way, then I'll use it over here and I'm going to get her to jump in. I'm going to get her in there and jump in and at least get an inferno and we'll uh, get the queen down right there. If the queen goes this way, then we are going to be like required to go in with the Lalo at the eagle here. I think we're going to go with the Lalo at the eagle anyways, but if the queen comes in over here, then we need to immediately drop the Lalo and we need to follow it up with a bunch of minions to start clearing these uh, these camps here, especially. That'll force the queen back in to make sure she gets the enemy queen and hopefully she stays alive. Let's go see if we make it happen. You ready? This is this could go horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, where, where am I going to use the Sun Slammer? Let's uh, decide that now. I guess right up here. I could have it go Archer Tower, Cannon, Archer Tower. If I bring in a couple extra balloons onto this mortar, that would force it inward and it would go into the Inferno or over to the Wizard Tower, then the Inferno. I think it'll ultimately get to the Inferno. So we'll use the Sun Slammer up there, I'm thinking. All right, let's go make it happen. We're going live in three two one we're live here we go so we will start off with the queen i want her to be under damage so she has to start off right away and we'll put her healers down on her we'll put in the uh three baby dragon put the king over here and let the king start working his way in here let's get the test wall breaker down okay now we can go for the rest all right king do your thing over there buddy all right we got the cc pull perfect I guess the balloons pulled the CC. That's fine. We'll get the poison down. We got a Valkyrie in there. So far, so good, right? So far, so good. Let's get our rage up on this queen. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hold it. Get a king ability after that giant bomb goes off. No, hold that too. He's doing fine out there. But we do need to save some time. So let's get the rage down. All right. Man, the king's doing some good work out there, right? All right, so we are going over this way, so we will jump here. We're under the rage on my healers here. That'll get us through the king, but let's use another rage here. We don't have to use my ability. Oh, don't use it. Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> All right, we need to start the Lalo. So we're going to go one, two. Okay, minions down. Warden. Rage of my queen. Okay, so let's get a haste here. Let's get the... Oh, I didn't bring in... I didn't save any balloons for the stone summer. All right, we'll, uh, we'll work our way in. Let's get a haste here. And we will freeze up... Inferno. And we'll hold the last haste for the backside Inferno. Okay. So far, so good. Warden. Ace here. I got two archers. I guess I can snipe something off, right? 
Uh, we'll get it up here. I think we got it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's crushed. That's crushed. So good plan. Worked out exactly like I was thinking. And uh, we got the three star with uh, commanding fashion here. Easy day. Easy day. Queen charge Lalo. No big deal. All right, guys. Now we need to go and plan out this queen charge hybrid attack next, right? Queen charge hybrid with the Yeti blimp incoming. Let's go. All right, so my stone slime are never open in that attack, so we're going to have to dump these balloons, and we're going to replace them with... We're going to get Yetis, we're going to get a heal spell, and we're going to get... Or do we want to heal? Yeah, I guess we do, huh? Or you know what? I'm going to get freezes. I got plenty of heals. I just... I kind of want the freezes, because the freezes are utility. I can use them for the queen charge to protect her if I need to, or I can use them for the hogs and the miners if I need them there. So they're the ultimate utility spell there, and I can use them to like freeze up the enemy queen while the miners are trying to take her down. So I feel like the freeze is going to be the better option. You know what I mean? So we'll do that, and we'll get the blip. And um, I don't know what to use with the eddies. I'll just take whatever they gave, whatever they give me. And we need to put this warden underground because uh, we don't want to go in with an air warden. That'd be bad. That'd be really bad. All right. So we're set there. And as soon as these troops are ready, we'll be right back. All right, guys. Troops are all ready, except for this king. So we're just going to gem him and we're going to go do this other attack. So I, mean, I would just sit around and wait for him. But I got other stuff I got to do today. And you guys are probably the same. You can't just sit around and wait for it all day. But we're going to go in on this base here. All right. So we've got the Yeti blimp and the Yeti is going to be in charge of taking out this Inferno. If I can take out that Inferno, then it'll make so the queen can walk on the top side of the compartment. She can go take out the town hall without any jumps, without any rages. Well, maybe a rage. I got a couple of rages there set aside for, her. and then it's also going to make so that I can just drop a baby dragon or something right over here. If the Yetis go take out these uh, handful of buildings right here, that's all I need them to get. Then the queen will do her thing. And that'll set up so I can put my king to go walk this edge and I can have the hogs and the miners shoot right into here. I don't have a ton of miners because I'm going to be engaging the queen relatively fast. So I think I just need to bring enough. I need to throw them all in a stack together and make sure they go towards the enemy queen because that's going to be their job is to take her down. They don't really have a lot of other purpose there. And uh, we'll use the we'll try to time the uh, eagle shots engaging the queen and the uh fighting this inferno all together i think if we do those all together then we're gonna be in a pretty good spot we use the heals we go through the bomb tower and into the wizard tower area here and then we'll use the last heals we go into the other inferno so i think we should be able to bring it down actually i think we have three heals yeah we're, we're gonna be fine we're gonna crush it this is this is uh, I, i'm already calling it it's a three star let's go and see if we can bring it down let's uh, just double check this blimp angle this has got to come in right around here. Where's that air defense? If I can skirt the range of that air defense so I'm not getting shot on my way in, right? I want to land it in the corner of this compartment with the eagle. Or inferno, I mean. So we're going to put it right in between the these two buildings here. All right. What might happen? This is where the magic happens, boys and girls. Let's go. We're going live in three, two. Oh, I don't have three heals i got freezes that's right <laughs> I, I even talked about that all right let's go so balloon limp rage it up right here we want to let's manually open it so it opens up in that compartment there we go perfect i <laughs> got it all right let's get the baby dragon down we'll get the uh queen and start walking this little edge here and we got the cc pull so perfect the cc is going to be fought by the queen off in safety up in this top corner let's go with the healers now oh wow they took out a lot there right uh, let's get a coca loon for them and uh the baby dragon's going to work its way over is it going to go after my healers or not i think it's, it's going to the queen so that's perfect let's get a rage for her and we will get, let's see, is that Archer Tower locked on? It is. Let's drop in a wizard up in that top corner and uh, uh, Archer to go uh, help out there. And she can continue on there. Let's get the king going. Or do we want to wait a second? I think we will wait a second because we're not under a lot of threat here. So, okay, we need to go now. King. Miners. Hogs. Warden. 
I'll throw a couple of wizards with the king. Let's pop his ability there. Get him ahead. The queen needs a rage, right? Let's get uh early warden now. We'll uh, freeze the queen. Not yet. We don't need a freezer. Inferno's going to go down. We'll heal over the bomb tower. Get everything topped back off. Uh, I got a balloon here. I'll send about that mortar, I guess. Let's get a uh, heal. No. Nope. What do we want to do here? Let's get a heal. Okay. And we I went to auto ability on my queen there. I never use my poison. What am I doing? Let's uh, freeze up that multi inferno. See if we can still make it through. See if I can freeze more on this next one. There we go. Oh, I didn't get the multi. All right. So I don't have anything to go back for that. Uh, the. Oh, we're going to fail. What happened to my hogs? All right. So I made some mistakes there. I didn't drop my. Uh, I didn't drop my. Poison and that was stupid. I never even used it and I lost my hogs. I honestly don't know what happened to them. Let's go back and look and see what the heck happened to my hogs because I had a lot of hogs and they all died and the miners continued on there. So I'm curious to see what happened because it was really, really close guys. We came really close, but I uh, was dumb. I uh, somehow went right past this and I couldn't quite get through this one. So it came up short. We're going to get into the high 90s, but it's not the three star we're looking for, which sucks. Like <laughs> that Inferno would have gone down and it was a very low health. Like look at the health on it. I can click on it. Let me click on it. No. Oh, dang it. Well, let me click on it. But I want to see what happened to the hogs because the hogs got wrecked and that caused some big problems there. So Blimp did fine. Blimp did exactly what it needed to do. The CC was just dumb because I'm an idiot and I never dropped a poison, so my queen almost died. Probably could have fought it without a rage there, which would have... All right, here's the hogs. So hogs were under the warden ability. Oh, here's what it is. Here it is. The hogs were late to get healed right there. And so I think I lost a lot. Now there's still oh, not very many left, though. I think I lost a lot to the bomb tower going into the wizard tower. So I should have healed that a little bit sooner. That was a big problem there. I lost a lot of troops and that ultimately resulted in the fail. So small things, small things can make a big difference. So we ended up uh, losing this one. And then on top of that, because we lost the because we didn't get to the Inferno, that ended up taking out my healers of the queen. <laughs> Oh man, that sucks. That sucks. That's all right though. Let's go check out some other Town Hall 12 attacks here from the other members of One Hive and see how other people will bring up bases. All right, guys, next up is Queen Walking Demon coming in, not with a Queen Walk, but with a Sui Hero Lalo. So why would he use this strategy on this base? Well, first of all, the biggest indication that this might work is the CC's location. The CC is all the way over by the Town Hall, which means two things. One, it's trying to stop a Sui from taking the town hall, right? So if a Sui hero can go in and grab the town hall with just the king and the queen, then you're going to be a really good spot. Also, it stops funneling for e drags and dragons to go through that town hall and makes so that if uh, somebody tries to send in their heroes to funnel on the sides, then it could potentially pull a hound or ice golems out and mess up the dragons or the e drags that come in through the town hall. So instead, he comes in on the opposite side, never enters the CC range, skirts the range of that single inferno, and takes out the enemy queen with his queen ability, even steps up and grabs an expo, and he's set up very nicely to go in with the Lalo. So here we go. He's going to start the Lalo in from the top side and notice the kind of collapsing triangle of uh, between this wizard tower and this mortar where everything will work its way into the eagle artillery and the town hall but you know what the defender tricked him out here faked him out and he brought in a double dragon with a whole bunch of tesses in the corner there that uh are gonna draw off his balloons just a little bit they're gonna have to go back but the double dragon is gonna potentially cause some big problems here one of the strongest cc's against this strategy and if you can fake out your opponent and catch him off guard you never get that on the uh the cleanup attack there because if somebody goes in and sees that there's a double dragon they're just going to go in with a kill squad or a pekka smash and they're going to wreck you so he comes in with a double dragon 
and completely catches Demon off guard, but that doesn't stop Demon. Demon's too OP with the strategy. One of the dragons stays up, kills a lot of the pups. He keeps on freezing it because it's the biggest threat on the board right now, and he's got to get the rest of the defenses down and give the pups a chance to take down the dragon. So the warden technically could turn on it, but he's going to stick on the targeting of the balloons there. Here comes the pups finally to go take down the dragon, and do they get it? This is win or lose for this attack here and they do indeed get the dragon down so there you go guys queen walking demon with his op lalo skills even beats it with a double dragon cc walking around the board there so nice fake out there by marin but can't stop demon he even lost all of his balloons he went down to just pups here so this one ended up being really really close but imagine how much overkill this would be if he would have predicted that cc correctly and he would have seen that there was going to be an actual hound in there so i mean that's a sometimes you just take that gamble you know but if we were going to fail this attack here, we probably wouldn't reattempt a Sui Lalo with a double dragon CC like that. We would definitely come in with a Pekka Smash or something. We would know that the Tessas are all in this corner. We could funnel extra troops there as necessary to make sure that we can secure that side of the funnel. We would uh, potentially come in with uh, maybe a blimp over into the top corner here. And then we would just do the Pekkas or Yetis right up through the town hall and across the base. And with a double dragon CC, it doesn't slow down your queen. It doesn't lock down your troops at all. Maybe even go to the siege barracks actually because the double dragon like the reason why you use a blimp is if there is a hound or ice golems and you want to go into the ground attack then it pulls the cc off so where you can fight it somewhere safe but if there's a double dragon cc you can burn through it so fast that maybe just funnel out both sides and use the siege barracks to have the extra punch through the base so just some ideas there let's dive into the next attack the next one is coming in by warble and uh, this one this one is the queen charge hog miner hybrid and we used the blimp in my attack we used the blimp in mine and he decided he wanted to come in with the siege barracks so we're going to see something a little bit differently except for he was successful i was close but i couldn't quite land it and i found out after my attack there that it was like our final attack of the war i didn't realize nobody else had attacks and our opponent was dipping like we were, we're still practicing no dip because we have the champion war league starting this weekend so we have been uh, practicing all no dip wars and uh, just making sure we get the practice but our opponents are dipping this war we ended up in a tie and they won the tiebreaker on percentage which is annoying because i could use the loot but the practice is more important we're we're less concerned about the loot i can go farm as much as i need to to get the loot but i uh can't not practice for the competition you know what i mean but with champion warley starting this next weekend we gotta be ready. So, Warble coming in here with this Queen Charge going after two single Infernos. Now, watch these air defenses. Or not single Infernos. Dump multi Infernos. He's got air defenses on both sides of his Queen, though. He's got air defenses here and here. And his healers are sitting right outside the range of both of them. And he steps in and gets targeted by both. Luckily, his sweepers knock him away from one of them. And then they step right back in. And his queen is getting targeted again. Up on the top side, he drops in the siege barracks with a baby dragon. They're going to work up and clear out all the trash out there. Moving the hogs in. And it, notice the percentage here. The miners can activate the town hall, which is nice. But he didn't need it. He's able to get the town hall activated and he times his warden ability with the wardens or with the eagle strikes, I mean, and he's able to get through the gigabomb, the eagle artillery and move deep in the base here. So queen ended up going down because of those air defenses, taking out her healers. Hogs come out of the siege barracks and start sweeping through the flank there. I think that was kind of lucky. I think uh, the hogs coming on the flank there. Normally, I would not suggest that. I would prefer that they stay with the main group so they're hidden hit by the heels. But those hogs that were coming on the flank were doing some fantastic work. I think mainly because the main group of hogs in the middle were under heels and they were drawing the attention of the defenses so it was able to sweep through. And when you use the hog and a minor hybrid attack, generally, since the hogs and the miners separate a little bit, you're going to have the hogs sitting hitting the like giant bombs and bomb towers separate from the miners and that makes the hogs that are out in front start to die off but then the miners that were safe behind not getting hit by those traps are going to sweep through and clean it up at the end and then they can go right into cleanup and finish out the base a couple of wizards to follow i think most of those wizards came out of the siege barracks so that's another nice part about using siege barracks is it saves you a ton of cleanup here and warble brings in this triple so 
Cool attacks. I hope you learned something. I hope you can go out here and use some of these ideas in your own attacks. But that's where we're going to end it for today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And if you guys enjoy this content, you want to help support the channel, don't forget to go into your Saints tab. Hit more Saints. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and type in code Eric before you make any in-app purchases. That expires once every seven days. So don't forget to re-enter it. And um, I got to give a shout out to my one Patreon supporter. Um, <laughs> only one. Only one. But he's pretty OP, and uh, we got a handful of supporters on YouTube as well, as well as my Twitch subscription. So you guys make it all possible. Thank you so much, and that's going to be it for today. Take it easy, guys. Peace.